So I'll get started with what I call my garage. This passenger door will actually be able to go all the way open. And since I have a ladder on the back of this fan, uh, this one you really want to make sure that you don't swing it all the way open or it will hit. So as you put it out to about here. First I've got a propane shower. This is plumbed up to my 18 gallons of fresh water supply. I just uh, flip a valve and then I'll have 60 PSI of pressure over here at my shower. Uh, this here I fitted to just have a uh, one pound, it's a green Coleman propane tank and I'll screw it on there and that'll provide many, many showers. So uh, it works out very well. The other thing too I've done is I did a, dis a quick disconnect uh, here so I can quick disconnect it and I can put a nozzle on it. So if my mountain bike is all muddy, um, I can spray it off. Uh, before I put it back in the van. So a big reason why I went with this layout here is because I haul this paramotor around a lot. I actually just got back from a three month road trip where I uh, went around to different sites in California and Arizona hauling the paramotor around and, and flying. Um, so having something that I can slide this in and out was a huge priority for me. So quickly I can uh, take this paramotor out and I've got um, my paragliders here and here and then I've got a Home Depot tote that I keep a lot of extra food, supplies, uh, different knickknacks in and then over here I've got my 29 inch mountain bike so that's when I um, figured out how high I wanted the bed to be I just measured how high it was to the top of these bars now the mountain bike I put on a fork mount and this means it can go in and out uh, very quickly and I can also, if I'm not hauling the paramotor, I can put, you know, four bikes or something in here. So I really like that um, usability. Now also, if I'm not hauling the paramotor around, uh, I'll actually switch this mattress out with one that's a bit wider. This one here, I actually cut down 10 inches to allow my paramotor to sit behind it. So uh, it's about 44 inches wide. That's uh, a full length, 75 inch long. So that's uh, one of the best things with these ProMasters is it's the widest van, so uh, without adding any sort of exterior flares like some of the Sprinters do, um, this will fit a full-size mattress in width-wise. So yeah, I'll just, uh, if I'm not hauling the paramotor around for a bit, I'll just uh, go over to my friend's house where I have my other mattress stored and um, swap the uh, mattresses up. It's really not too bad, bad of a uh, challenge and uh, definitely makes it more comfortable if I don't need to have this paramotor around. So one of my favorite additions to the van was this roof rack. It's uh, just two crossbars that are mounted to the factory mounts. And uh, there's actually about four factory mounts along the roof of this. So I picked the back two and I've got um, my Yakima Skybox. It's the 18 model. And then I also built a cedar roof deck. So I'll head up there and show you that. So having this roof deck up here is super handy to be able to hop up here and access the stuff you've got in your skybox. I personally keep my uh, climbing stuff in here. I've got two backpacks, uh, sleeping bags, all sorts of other uh, outdoor gear in here. So uh, it's a very safe and secure spot to store it and uh, it provides more interior space. So hop up on here. Also got my solar setup. These are two 100 watt Renegy panels and uh, seems to be pretty adequate. I've had this set up for about a year now and there's only been a couple times when I've actually wanted to put my batteries on a charger and that's just pretty much in the winter time when it's cloudy for weeks at a time. So um, I've also put this rain cover on and that allows me to be using my fan and having an exhaust uh, while I'm cooking. So uh, it works out very well. I should also mention that a couple other things I keep in this skybox are actually my, uh, I have two camping chairs that I keep in there, so if it's nice sunset or you have a nice view or something, then uh, it's nice to pop up here on the roof deck and 
watch the sunset. So it's a nice vantage point from being up here at about 10 feet up. Now we'll take you inside the van and show you what I've built out in here. So starting at the front, these are some blackout curtains. Um, I actually just put them on Velcro. So I have Velcro on the top and on the sides. If I'm at somewhere with a nice view, um, then I can remove this Velcro and see out the window. Over here, I've got my full height wardrobe. It's a really nice storage spot for your clothes. It's kind of nice to keep them all in one spot. So I've got lots of room for hanging clothes up there. And then bins down below for other um, pants and underwear and stuff. I've also put a full length mirror in here. So that uh, comes in handy. When I did build this out, I was realizing that if I built it too large, I wouldn't be able to get the uh, seat all the way back. So I did leave a little bit of room behind it. So the seat will actually go all the way back and uh, even recline a little bit. It just left me with some uh, nice storage space down below. I can put some shoes or something else in. Next, I've got my upper cabinets. I built these out of three quarter inch oak plywood. Put a couple struts in either side so they'll stay open. I've got some books in there. Got my hygiene bag, um, some extra food and whatnot. And then over in this side, I've just got some uh, smaller totes and whatnot for sorts of other stuff. So, works out really well. Provides a nice little bit of uh, storage. So, as far as uh, my sink, I've got a stainless deep sink. I believe it's called the Zero Radius sink. And I put a soap dispenser in here. And then I've got a stainless faucet. Expect uh, about the same flow that you'd have in a house. It's a sure flow. I believe it's a 60 PSI water pump. So it works very well. Um, it's provided me with uh, so far about a year of awesome service. Now these lights, I actually have um, their uh, tap light to where you can just have one or all three of them on. And they also link up with this remote here, so that can come really handy. And then this remote here is for my Max Air fan. Definitely recommend the Max Air fans over the Fantastic fans. They seem to be a bit better built. This one here has um, 10 speeds on it. It goes um, in and out, so if you want to pull fresh air in, or pull maybe you're cooking something and you want to pull your exhaust out, works well for that. Speaking of cooking, um, I actually left the counter space empty just because I like to be able to set my computer over here and do some projects or uh, just having a lot of extra space is really nice. So I actually went with a small one burner camp stove. I actually keep in the bottom of here. So I'll just pull that out, and I'll put it on my counter and I'll cook a meal and then put it right back in. It just makes sense for either 1% of the day that you're actually cooking uh, to not have something that's permanently mounted to your counter. So um, these are 24 inch sliding drawers. This is a maple hardwood cabinet, so very durable, It'll last a long time and uh, if it's ever damaged you can just refinish it and um, get it back to new. So my water supply under here uh, is in the back. I've got three six gallon containers. I really like these jerry cans just because you can take them and fill them up at, say, a dog park, a drinking fountain, any sort of hose picket. You don't need to be hauling around a 25-foot hose and fill up a, a water tank. In my opinion, these are the way to go, uh, whether you're doing weekend trips or um, you're in it full time. So this setup here will last me usually about 10 days of fresh water, and then I'll have to refill. Over in this bench, I've got all my electrical routed. I've got three cigarette lighters, and then some USBs here, and a voltmeter here that I can uh, keep status of my battery. I've also got an inverter and a standard 110 household plug here. So it makes it really convenient for uh, charging the laptop or batteries, etc. And then this is a Olympian Cam uh, Olympian, uh, it's a Wave 3 heater, 
It's a catalyst heater. It's very efficient. It'll actually run uh, full time for 10 days on the small propane can that I have. Uh, this is just a big pantry area. Just kind of throw things into it and um, kind of looks like a bottomless pit. So uh, it's nice to have uh, canned food and whatnot over on this side just because I've got a lot of weight on my driver's side. This over here is my inverter. And then I've got 200 amp hours worth of 12 volt batteries. Um, I got a little fuse box over here. It's my charge controller. And in case my batteries are ever low in the winter time, I've actually got a um, battery charger down there that I can plug into a, a house or something like that and charge it up. This divider in here is super handy. Um, when I am hauling longer stuff, including even my mountain bike, sticks out just a few inches, just with uh, how deep I built my bed up. Um, and when I want more space in here, uh, say I'm hauling a paddleboard, um, or I'm hauling, um, you know, I've, I've put a 14 foot kayak in here before, um, I can just open up the slider and uh, have things stick all the way through. So slider opens full length and uh, it's a huge help for accessing anything you want in there. And then when you want it a little bit cleaner looking during the day, you can just slide that closed. This over here is a Dometic, uh, I believe it's a 40 quart or 40 liter fridge and um, super efficient. It's a top opening. That's a very efficient fridge just because your heat's not going to dump out when as soon as you open it. So works very well. It just uh, uses a very small amount of power. thought about building a slide, so I'll have the fridge slide out here, and then that way I can build some sort of a pantry storage above it. could be nice and handy. So now with this mattress here, it does have a bit of gap at the edge obviously for my paramotor to fit in but when I put my full-size 54 inch wide mattress it goes all the way to the back doors I also it's at a height to where you can be sitting on the bed having your back against here and uh, you won't have to um, crunch your head or anything like that so it's very comfortable I even put some velcro strips up there right above the bed so I can uh, just velcro my phone up there and watch a movie or two at night now I do have six puck lights in my cedar ceiling. These are on two light switches, front lights, back lights. I find that location there is nice for entering and exiting the van. Makes it really convenient to get the lights. You obviously see I do not have windows in this van. After living in vans for about a year, year and a half, I uh, really don't like having the windows. Um, if I want fresh air, then I can open up a door, open up a front window, but as far as security goes and insulating goes, you're definitely better off having no windows. So a lot of people that I talk to that do add windows, say a few windows in the back or uh, on the sides, uh, they'll regret putting them all in just because um, you're having them covered up about 90% of the time. So works well for me. It's just the way that uh, I decided to build this out. Well, I think I've covered most things in this van. If you have any other questions on the build, uh, definitely drop me a comment. Happy to assist. Highly recommend these ProMasters. Uh, I've had this one for now about a year. Put 15,000 miles on it. It's been amazing. Uh, the front wheel drive is really nice to have. It's a gas motor, so anybody can just maintain it and work on it. It's very simple. Uh, the dealership I actually bought this van from included a lifetime powertrain warranty, so it was a, just couldn't pass up the deal. So highly recommend these. Um, they're they're a great vehicle, a great platform to build a camper on. So yeah, thanks for watching.